I make films because they're the most powerful communication tool that we have to share new information about our ocean world and to share the, the solutions that are at hand for the problems that we're facing. The reason that I make environmental films is to make a difference. I mean, this is why, uh, this is why I'm in the business of making films, is to make a palpable, tangible, measurable difference to society. I make films because I feel they're the most effective way to inspire meaningful action, meaningful change. I've been involved in making films since my father showed me that uh, if you can bring images about what's below the surface to people who haven't had the chance or privilege that we have had, then they become part of the solution. They are blown away by the extraordinary resources that are below the surface and there's no better way than putting it on film. Distribution is really the key element to making a successful environmental film. You can make the best film in the world, and if it just sits on a shelf, it's not accomplishing anything. So from the onset with the Greenfire Films, we've looked at who are our audiences and how can we reach them. And once we have our audience, what's most important is that we give them actions, we provide them with the tools they need to affect meaningful change. That goes beyond recycling, it goes beyond the car we drive, the light bulbs we use. We have to take it to the next level. We have to be willing to tell the real inconvenient truth. How we live our lives, what we eat, how we live. is not only to show the beauty, the extraordinary diversity, but to do that with a human presence. So people can relate to those in the ocean and what is there in the ocean and feel a part of it. Rather than if you only show images of the beauty of the ocean, you're a spectator. Then by having humans there, you're an actor. And that's why I believe we can make a difference. The most important element in a successful environmental or wildlife film is telling a story. Story. Stories is how people learn. It's the language of learning. The way we've done things, at least in the last 30 years, has been pretty much preaching to the converted. We haven't often taken the next step, looking at things from a way today's audience can relate. We need to tell stories that aren't environmental stories, but human stories animal stories, life stories that have an undercurrent of action and then hit them with that direct action, hit your audience with that direct action at the end. One of the most important ways that filmmakers can have an impact on today's world is to share success stories. We all have a very clear sense, I think, of what the problems are and what are the issues that we're facing. but. We're not so sure about how to move forward and what the solutions are. If you can make a film become part of a campaign, then you stand a chance of making a film that can make a difference. To make a difference in today's world, showing images with the presence, our presence, and I mean your presence, everybody's presence, make people want to act. Make people want to know and understand that there are solutions to the problems that we are facing today. And everyone can make a difference. And showing what we depend upon, how connected we are, is the best way to make people take action. Sanctuary Watch is a great publication, and now it's online as well. I encourage anybody watching this to look it up, to visit the website, to, to see the print publication. It's got great messages. It's an important publication for conservation.